para paddling is now gaining popularity across the continent, having been introduced at this year's African Under-23 Canoeing Championships in Egypt. Efforts by the International Canoeing Federation to sponsor several athletes is propelling the spread of the sport, as CGTN's Adele El Maruji now reports. Usually, the under-23 or junior events do not get more attention than the senior. This year, however, the African Under-23 Canoe Championship in Egypt has gotten the full attention of the International Federation. For the first time in Africa, the ICF introduces para events. It's a pivotal step for the sport in the continent. I'm very excited about it. I'm in charge of the international development of para canoeing in the entire world and the involvement of Egypt in the last year has been phenomenal. Also at this competition we have for the first time competitors from the Sudan. We also have a competitor from Algeria in the competition. So we're seeing increased participation throughout the entire continent. Few athletes have joined the first African paracanoe race. ICF says they're investing to teach Africans the sport and finance their trips to join international competitions. My target is more and better. That's my target. So it's always going to be more. Uh, I think obviously there's more participation in other continents, but that's why the International Canoe Federation is looking at Africa. Also because there's been so much conflict in Africa, there's an opportunity of our sport to engage in particular athletes who have had impairments, who have lost limbs to participate in sport in a way which there are many rivers and lakes. There's an opportunity here to really use our sport to bring those people back into society and make them feel more worthy. When para-athletes jump in their kayaks, their legs sink inside the boat and then get covered. So when practicing the sport, no one can differentiate them and the rest of the players. And it is that advantage that has made para-kayaking quite popular in Egypt and Africa. This international interest to boost para-paddling sports in Africa has encouraged the Egyptian Canoeing Federation to collaborate with the National Special Olympics team to include athletes with mental disabilities. The team is formed from Egyptian swimmers. It was our condition for the para-canoe team, so as not to risk their lives. They've always surprised us with the results. When we introduce them to the kayak, they've made great numbers. I am optimistic. This small group of para-athletes have already made history in African canoeing. They now have the advantage to lead the continent in water sports. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, New Alamein, Egypt.